All right, we're back here. This is Elite Go 3. Uh, been about a two year hiatus, but I'm gonna make a, well, longly anticipated mail day. And I've got about eight packages here. These all came in the mail this week. All purchases off eBay. I've continued to collect over the past two years. Um, next, uh, this August, I got the the national convention in Baltimore, so I'll be out there buying, selling, trading, doing the works. But uh, this is the first package. That's a nice card. 2007 Don Russell Elite Calvin Johnson. Numbered out of 599. This is a fantastic set. This is back when. Uh, Don Russ produced these cards. Now they got bought out by Panini. Who's they still make nice cards? I think they have a lot of the same employees that are working on the designs from Don Russ, but not sure on that. But it's a nice Calvin Johnson. Here's the next one. Wow, that is a sweet card. It's a flat out awesome card. This is a brand new product. Upper Deck SPX, um, 2012 Robert Griffin, and it looks to be in good condition. I'll have to uh, send this to PSA or BGS. I mean, we'll see. I'm a big card grader. I know there's mixed opinions on that as well, but yeah, it's it's fun to send them off, even though I've, at times uh, the grades aren't totally honest, I don't feel anyways, but that's a topic for a different video. Here's the next package. Okay, let's try to get in here. He's got this package good. What do we got? That's nice. I'm a big... Uh, Don Russ Elite fan. It's 2004. Stephen Jackson, Don Russ Elite rookie. Uh, picked it up for five bucks. That's a cool card. Plus, I'm a big Stephen Jackson fan. I, th I think he's a good player. Uh, what else we got? This one came in a white envelope. So, doesn't feel like there's any cardboard or anything keeping it safe. So. About this, but we'll open it anyways. And that's how the card is. Apparently, this person doesn't own tape, but this is how the card is when I open it up out of the package. <laughs> it's out of the case. Um, no idea how it's not bent, but I only paid two bucks for it. But it's the principle of putting a piece of tape on a card. Careless, but. I don't know what, what you're going to do about it sometimes. That was uh, Manny Machado, rookie. That's a good little prospect. This one's taped up pretty good. I'll have to get out my scissors. Get my tools all out here. And we have a... I can get it out of here. It's got a secured inside with the white... what they're called, but a piece of cardboard. Looks like another Robert Griffin. And this one is from 2012 Prestige. Another nice new brand. This is the Variation from the base set, so it's supposed to be rarer than the normal one, but it's a nice card for 15 bucks. It's a nice new product. What we got? Some of these are hard to open. 
paper. Oh, this is a random card I bought. <laughs> uh, God, this is like two bucks, two or three bucks. Uh, 95, what is it, classic best, I think. Vladimir Guerrero, top 100, PSA 9. Uh, just a, I don't know, I was in a random mood that day. I was looking at a bunch of uh, minor league cards of players that turned out to be great players. So, uh, just a little fun card. Let's see. Got a couple more. We'll wrap up this mail day. Don't want it going too long. Wow, that's a nice card. <laughs> that is just a flat out awesome card. I'm just looking at it real quick. 1989 score, Barry Sanders, PSA 10. Uh, this is a tough to get a 10 in this set. And this card wasn't the cheapest card. But from looking at it, it looks flawless. Wow, that's nice. I can't, I can't see any white. It looks perfectly centered, so it's a fantastic card. He is arguably the greatest running back of all time. That'll be debated forever, though. But that's fantastic. Add that to my personal collection. And last package. This is a random card. I don't know what kind of mood I was in. This was like last week. I go through random. Can't get it out of the plastic, but it is in. Any Romero, Bowman Chrome, 2011, uh, rookie, and it's uh, it's autographed, so that's kind of cool. It was only five bucks, I want to say, but he pitched in uh, last Sunday's Futures game. I don't think he did too well, but he's supposed to be one of Tampa Bay's upcoming prospects, and I, I was at that game, so that's probably why I bought it. But uh, that's it. I'll have a lot. A lot more uh, videos coming out, um, a lot of how-to videos on sending to PSA, PGS, how to snap cards out of graded cases, and just various stuff on the hobby. So shoot me questions if you got any, and that's it for Elite Code 3. Thanks.